Wow, ang init, hot na hot pa rin ang temperatura. Feel na feel ang init ng summer. Nako, patapos na ang Mayo pero eto pa rin tayo. Summer pa rin sa Pilipinas at syempre, uso ngayon ng mga family outing, 'di ba? Kapag summer na ganito. Tulad na lang ng pamilya o ng hot couple for the hot summer na ating makakausap ngayon dito sa Corina Interviews. Hulaan ninyo kung sino itong pamilya na ito, itong hot couple na ito sa TV, pelikula at ganun din sa social media na mahilig makipag-bonding sa kanilang mga anak sa mga summer road trips. And meet the hot couple with the hot baby, of course, Aubrey Miles, Troy Montero. And this is for you and Rocket, the beautiful baby. Wow. Hello. Oh, so many colors. Wow, hi. Hello. Hi. Ay, nako, hot na hot pa rin. Hot na hot pa rin. Kaya lang white na yung hair niya. At si Aubrey, sexy pa rin. Kahit balot na balot. Ay, di ba? Thank you, Gumanon. Thank you. Oo nga. Tamang-tama ang ating eksena ngayon. It's summer and what better time to catch up. Yes. Yes. On the hot summer rather than with a hot couple. Simulan na natin. Only here. Their journey as a couple on Corina Interviews. Aubrey Miles is in the house! Yay! Oh, so online na lang kita nakikita. Because you're everywhere. I'm everywhere, I know, I know. Tawa ng tao sa mukha ko, but what can I do? Eh, ikaw naman talagang, pinaplano mo ba na talagang ang concentration mo is really online? Social media? Right now, yun muna kasi busy kami with Rocket, so that's the time na we can afford laging sa bahay, wala kaming yaya. So, ginagawa namin lahat kung kaya online, ganyan. Pero siyempre, okay din na lumabas once in a while. I still remember those days. Kasi nalang mo, Aubrey Miles, everywhere. Naksa, ano pa na? Yung mga panahon na yun, di ba? Everywhere talaga. Yun ba talagang nagagawa ng pag-ibig? Bigla kang nagiging mahirap hagilapin? Well, before naman ako pumasok ng showbiz, talagang alam ko na may plan ako for the span na I can stay... And then I know I planned them financially. I said to my mom, "I want to go into the business." Before, because I feel like I really need to make money. I need to make money. I need to make money. I need to make money. So I feel like I really need to make money. I 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 need to make money. And she has. Naku, yung Lux. Aubrey Miles ngayon, mas maganda pa kaysa sa Aubrey Miles Lux, dati. Lux naman. Lux naman, <laughs> naman di ba? Dito ka ba ipinanganak sa Pilipinas? Yes. Dito ka na rin lumaki? Yes, dito ako pinanganak. Dito ako lumaki. Daw tumira ako sa, sa States for a while, dun sa unang anak ko. And short lang, mga five, four years ata. Ganyan, dun ako nanganak. Tapos dito na ako. Pero... Basically, in my 43 years, nak, sinabi ka age. Sinabi talaga, hindi mo na may pagkakailang edad, nasa Google na. Oo. Okay. Ano, dito talaga ako sa Philippines. Manila, tapos province, Bulacan. I think when you're younger and full of energy, parang kahit na anong dumating na dagok sa'yo, parang kakayanin mo, di ba? Apat kami magkakapatid, lahat kami ganun. Oh, we have to work, we have ganun. Parang hati-hati kami sa work. Mm -hmm. mga time na yun. Mm -hmm. Kasi sa mom ko, we're just, you know, trying to survive. So, early in life, parang uh, ginusto mo nang tumulong sa family mo. Yes. Bakit? Uh, Bakit mo naramdaman yun? Bata pa lang ako. Siguro sa school pa lang. Feeling ko talagang feeling ko. Kailangan may ginagawa ako. Sa school pa lang pansin ko. Feeling ko laging active ako. Ganyan. So, sa bahay, feeling ko pag wala akong ginagawa, wala akong trabaho, hindi ako kumikilos. Until now. Parang I always want to be needed. Ingano? 
hindi na ito may purpose ako. Ganun. Baka purpose-driven ka talaga. Siguro. I like it. Tapos pag feeling ko, the more na na-achieve ko yung responsibilidad na yun, dami kong napifeel na happiness. Ganun. Really? Even as a child? Mm -mm, bata ako. Feeling ko parang nanalo ako sa honor. Kunwari, one time, sabi ko sa mom ko, oh, gusto kong mag sa beauty pageant, sumali ako. Oh, oh. Gusto kong mag... Anong beauty pageant ang sinalihan mo? Madami. Alam mo ba, before ako mag-showbiz, Puro beauty pageant sinasalihan Konti ko. Konti sera? Uh Oo. -oh. Pero siguro oh. mga 15 lang naman. 15 beauty pageants. Oh, Obre, 15. <laughs> ang dami noon. <laughs> ang dami noon. Ay, hinahanap ko talaga. Saan dito ang beauty pageant? Oo, oh, hinahanap ko. Gusto so, nasan yung may mga kamag-anak ko at may bahay kami. Ganon. Okay. Uh -huh. It's not so usual, no, na people are blessed with looks like that. At saka hindi rin usual na alam nila kung paano nila mapapakinabangan. Hindi ba? Pero bakit ka huminto ng school? Um, school, tuminto ako ng college. Third year college ako. Um, yun na, nag-showbiz na ako. Parang sumasali pa rin ako ng mga beauty pageant sa school. Mm -mm. Still continuous pa rin. Pero yun na, biglang na-discover na ako sa, ano, sa TV. Nag-audition ako. Ah, uh, Nag-audition okay. ako for this ano, TV show. Parang mga kids TV show. Tapos natanggap ako. Yun na. Kids TV show. Parang sit kuya germs pa yon. Ah, Pero hindi siya da, hindi siya that's, that's entertainment. Oh. Hindi yon before ay after pa noon. Oh, oh. Parang meron siyang ginawang parang teens ano show doon na tuloy. Ilang taon noon? Mga 16, 17. 16, 17. Mm -hmm. Okay. And soon after, nagtuloy-tuloy na. Yes, oo. Oh, doon actually hindi pa yon eh. May, wala pa akong baby noon, bata pa ano pa ako. Parang nag 3 years pa ako noon. Tapos nabuntis ako. Ayun. Ah. Ano, okay, yung feeling ng, you, you strike me as someone na you know what you want, right? Na meron kang plano sa buhay, very purposeful ka nga. Tapos biglang, nako, paano yan? Magkakababy ako nang wala sa oras, wala sa plano. Ano ang naisip mo nun? Noong time na yun, sabi, feeling ko, kala ko may pera na ako noong time. <laughs> kasi mm -hmm. dinak, sumasala ako ng beauty pageant. Tapos nung pag yung love, kasi feeling mo yun na yun, Kaya sabi ko, oh, nung moment na yon ang kala ko, sabi ko, oh, that's it. I'm happy na. I'm 18, 19, pwede na. I can take this. Ganyan. Tapos, I want, I want to settle down. Yung ganun feeling ko. Siyempre, oh, oh, di ko na. Bata ka pa kasi. Oo, sa kanong time na yung feeling ko talaga in love na in love ako. Alam mo, hindi ko na yun din. Sabi ko, in love na in love. Tapos after how many years nga, nag, ano, na, nabuntis na, ganyan. Yun na parang, ay, hindi pala. Yan, uh, uh, well, mm. Walang, siyempre may regret ka dun sa time, pero dun sa love, wala, mm. oo. Ako okay ako dun sa nasaktan ako, okay lang. Kasi part din yun eh, feeling ko. Saka, nag-enjoy naman ako nung first baby ko eh. Oo. Tapos, so during that baby, nag, wala ka muna sa showbiz o nagtuloy-tuloy ka? Yun, nag-states na kami. Ah, uh, America na. Uh, oh, okay. American. Si Bali, yun yung first boyfriend ko, nasa showbiz din siya. I'm not sure if you know yung obligation family. Yung apo nun, siya yung dad ng anak ko, si Mori Obligasyon. Oh. So, tumira kami ng three, almost four years doon. Pero hindi kami kinasal. And buti na lang, talagang kulit pa ng mom ko, magpakasal kayo kasi, di ba, may anak ka, ganyan, ganyan. Buti na lang, hindi. Ganyan. Okay, bakit buti na lang? ano nangyari? Nung first or second year pala, alam ko na parang may mali. Hindi pa, hindi pa ito yung gusto ko. Sabi ko, parang hindi pa pala. Ayun, hindi ito yung... Hindi yung baby, yes. Pero yung responsibilidad na may part na magpatrabaho ka, hindi ako ready ng ganun. And then, gusto ko yung family ko. I miss my family. Na-miss ko yung buong pamilya ko. So, yun. Siguro na homesick ako. Tapos hindi naman ako taga doon, eh. Diba? Mm. So, lumayas ako. Hindi <laughs> talaga lumayas ako. Dala-dala mo yung anak mo. Oo. oo. Alam mo yung talaga lumayas ka. Ay, parang Rufa Gutierrez. Oo. oo, oo, oo. <laughs> At yun naman, ano, nasa work siya. Tapos tumago ako sa cousin ko. Tapos sundiin mo ako. Ganun. Tapos parang nag-aaway-aaway na rin kami noon. Ganun. Sabi ko, nagpasundo ako. Tapos yun, tinay na balik-balikan ako. Pero wala na talaga. Siguro yung, yung feeling lang na hindi talaga kami ready din sa isa't isa. You were too young, maybe. Sobra, sobra. Right, right. Mm -mm. Are you friends now? Yes, super friends. Uh, ah, super friends. Yeah, Good. Super friends naman. So, may tatay din yung anak mo. Yes, so, nagkikita sila ni Troy. Noong una, siguro hindi pa eh, yung mga unang years namin ni Troy. Pero ngayon, 20 years na. So, after mga, mga siguro adjustment, 6 years. Matagal din, mm. 6 years adjustments. Oh. All's well that ends well with this chapter of your life. Pero pinili mong itago si Mori for a while nung bumalik showbiz ka. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mahirap ba yon? Mahirap ba yung papasok ka ng showbiz tapos may tinatago ka? Mahirap nung time na... Kasi 
nandito siya eh. Tapos sabi ko, paano kaya yun? Paano nila ginagawa yun? Sabi ko, ganun. So, binrief ako, ganyan-ganyan. Siyempre yung mga managers ko. Sabi ko, let's try it. And in the first six months, umiiyak ako. I think, ang iniisip ng manager mo noon is because sexy yung films mo. Uso yun dati eh. Mm, Di ba? Sexy, yeah. sexy films talaga. Eh, kailangan itago. Kailangan parang eligible bachelorette ka, right? Yes. Saka, ilan-ilan lang kami noon. Hindi ko tulad ngayon, ang dami na... Dati nung talaga ang labanan, tatlo lang kaming sexy stars. Kailangan level mo sila, fresh ka. Sino ang kasabayan mo nun? Uh, after Asunta kasi got married na, they said, oh, let's put up new sexy sa ano, me, Maui Taylor, Diana Zabiri. Ayun, yes, the uh, three of you, correct. Yeah, that's why correct. nag-cover kami ng magazine, ng calendar. Yes, yeah. so, oo, oh, FHM? Yes, tapos oh, ang mga oh. last name namin, lahat parang English eh. Right. Parang American, eh, sorry, American name. Right, kasi right. Miles. Tapos Taylor, tapos Zabiri. Right, right, right. So, yung time yung kailangan sabay-sabay, di ba? Sabi ko, hindi pwede, it's kailangan younger ka. Okay, ganun. Correct. So, ang dami kong briefing nun talaga, pero ready naman din ako nun, ready din. What was the hardest part na tinatago mo nun? Siguro nung mag-ano kami, ta-travel. Sabi ko, paano tayo mag-ta-travel na to? Gusto gusto ko mag-travel na break. Gagawin ko, may mga pamangkin ako sa kapatid ko na panganay, may anak siyang dalawa. Gagawin ko, mag-travel ko. Kailangan kong dalhin lahat sila para mag-mix. So, hindi mo alam kung sino anak ko doon. Sa ate ko, mom ko, ako, tapos yung dalawang anak na, tapos anak ko. Tapos sabay-sabay kami. So, hindi mo alam kung hindi anak ko. Tsaka noon, parang hindi pa uso masyado online. Yes. Hindi pa masyadong pakialamero ang buong mundo sa buhay mo. No? Puro salita lang, puro Oo. words. So, may, may nakita kami sa New York, si Aubrey Mas, may kasamang bata. Habi ko, may proof kayo. Wala naman, oh, <laughs> kasi nakita lang kami, yung gano'n. Right. Tapos nag-Hong Kong daw kami with the kids. Sabi ko, may proof ba kayo? May picture kayo? Wala. Ay, wala naman ah, talaga. Okay, okay. So all during this time, syempre, sexy star ka, Aubrey Miles. And I know you also sing. Yes. I know, because one time, nandun ako sa isang opening. Ako yung host, ikaw yung performer. And kumakanta ka. Konti, somehow. Uh, oh. shows. Dati kasi may noontime show kami. Right, right. So, I do sing, I dance. But more on singing because I... I bata pa lang ako, ang wish ko din, kumanta lang sa isang lobby sa hotel. <laughs> oh, why not? Pwede rin naman yun. Kaya lang, maliit lang ang kita doon. Uh, yung mga bata oh, oh. ko, yun ang wish ko lang. Gusto ko yung parang social kasi siya. Sabi ko, kanta ka ng mga ano lang, mellow. You can still do that, you know. Okay. Ah, di ba? Oo, oh, oo, oh, 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 di ba? So, why not? Minsan nakikijam ako, minsan nakikijam ako. Hey, meron ka talagang background sa pagkanta. Yes, I took up Conservatory of Music oh, oh. in UST. Oo. Oh, oh. um, mga yun, three years. Kasi nga, alam ko na, habi ko, baka magamit ko rin to pag nag-beauty pageant ako or mag-showbiz ako. So, yung singing, yun yung part din na talagang gusto ko pa bata ako. Ganun. Oh. So, masala din ako ng mga singing contest, no? Talagang ano ako, talaga Contest eh. <laughs> Kung ano, kahit hindi wala ako sa tono ng bata ako, yung pinakamataas na tatry ko talaga. Pero siya, mm. hindi na ngayon. Pero, right. dami kong sinalihan yan. Oo, oh, oh, no? So, the sexy star took over the singer. Ayan. The sexy yes. star took over the singer. Ano ang pinakamahirap na part ang pagiging sexy star sa showbiz? Pag medyo tumaba ka na, o ng konti, kahit nga medyo tinatanong nila kung ano kinakain mo, ganyan. Especially dati, pag mas payat ako noon, syempre mas bata ako. Pag medyo nag-gain lang ako because nag-break kami, hindi ka na sexy. Pero ang payat ko pa rin naman, ang feeling ko, yun yung maintain mo lang, yung paano ka, at least fit ka lang, or hindi naman ka lang super ano, sexy for so me. So pressure, hindi ka naman nagkakasakit, nagkakadayat. Hindi naman. Alam mo, I enjoy actually working out. Gusto oh. ko yung workout. Well, obviously. I mean, in all your, in all your posts, <laughs> puro ganon. Because I don't diet. Pero, I hardly kasi, pag ang ano ko lang sa gabi, hindi ako masyadong kumakain na pag after 7, yun na. Kasi I sleep mga at least 10 na yung pinakalit. Oh. Ganyan. Ah. I see. Tapos, ito nga. Wow, 10 p.m. Nung nag-showbiz ako, nag-contract pa ako sa manager ko, sabi ko, kailangan meron akong workout ng two to three times a week. Habi nila, yes, pero hindi naman natupad. Ako, hirap noon. Kung hindi ka pupuntahan, nakakatamad. Oo, kinontra ko pa. Pero pumupunta naman ako, just that walang time. Walang time. I see. So, okay, you were doing so well. I mean, what was your favorite film? Sa lahat? Sa lahat, ang favorite ko is, yung first ko, siyempre, yung Frosty. That's my launching movie. Pero, ang second ko, Sanib. 
nung exorcist type yung miikot yung ulo ko. Ah, ano, kasi kasi no, na nominate ako na nominate ah, best actor. Talagang acting actingan na talaga. Oo. So you were doing so well. Why did you bakit nag-decide ka na ihinto yung sexy movies mo? Kasi sinabi ng mga movie houses wala nang sexy. Nung oh. time <laughs> na sakto nung I'm st I was still ready sa ko let's oh. do it. Kasi nung last movie ko na actually dalawa lang naman yung ginawa kong sexy movie. The rest Medyo family na. Ito rin baon mo. Nandiyan yung sandwich para pag nagutom ka pang merienda mo. Yung breeze mo para pag nabasa. Yung flashlight mo para pag nag brown out, may ilaw ka na. Agagam boys comedy with Fong Navarro. Pero nung time na gusto ulit mag-sexy na pwede na, wala. Sinarado na lahat ng sexy movies, di ba? Ah, yung okay. time na yon yung time. Sinarado kasi hindi na kumikita or sinarado kasi ayaw na namin ng ganyan? Oo, ayaw na. Ah, parang may batas-batasan na. Ano bang year yun? Oo, may year ah. na tinapos na lahat ng mga rated 18 ba yan, right. 18 ganyan. Ah, so, I see. Ganun pala yun, ano? Uh -oh, so what did you feel like? Uh, Nawala na ka? Nagumuho ang mundo mo? Hindi naman. Nung hmm. time na na-announce na nila yun, I've been doing ano na, mga family movies na... So buti na lang nag medyo transition na kami sa ganun. Pero sabi ko, sayang naman kasi may mga plans pa kami. Ang dami pang mga, mga sexy roles nun. Saka under, ano siya, directed by ano Eric Mati. So excited yeah. ako kasi magaling siya okay. gumawa. Sino-sino bang mga na-link sa yun na mga boys? Aminin. Alam mo, wala masyado. Wala masyado, di ba? Oo, oh, bait ako nun eh. Mabait ah. Talagang oh, puro. Wala, pa. wala rin ako naririnig. Oo, oh, oh, wala. Oh, oh. May mga, sun, mga ganyan, pero may mga naligaw, pero hindi kasi tumagal. Walang, oo, oh, walang tumagal. Tapos, actually si Troy nga, nag-deny pa kami ng relationship for two years nung naging kami. Oh, wow. Uh, Why is that? Because? Ayaw ng manager ko na maging kami. Magka-boyfriend ako, ganun. Bakit? May gusto siya kay Troy. Hindi. Ganyan ko lang. <laughs> baka, basta baka. Okay. Wala, baka daw sabi nila, oh, at, naku, sayang naman. Ito na, nandito. Kasi kasagsagan ko na nun eh, si Troy niligawan ako eh. Ayun, I was about to ask. Ah. Kaya lang naman dumating si Troy ah. sa buhay. So kasagsagan ng career, yes. nagkakilala kayo. Sa noong time show, nag-guest ah, siya. Ah, nag-guest siya. Mm. Ano na? Siyempre, pogi, di ba? Oo. Oh, oh. Di pa ako artista. Artista na siya, di ba? Sa ako, ay, keep na. <laughs> sa Ganun. personal, sabi ko. Oh, oh, oh. And then, so what is like, ano, spontaneous combustion? Ano? Nag-guest ako sa, um, ay, nag-guest siya sa um, show, morning show uh, ni Ms. Chris Aquino. Sa kanya ni Boy. Sila, nag-guest sila sa isang morning show. Tapos, sabi sa kanya, um, ni Chris, may meron ka bang crush sa show, showbiz now that you want to, ano, pursue? Uh, I heard this girl, bagong girl, si Aubrey Miles. I mean, oh, we're friends. Tinawagan niya ako live. Tinawagan niya ako live. <laughs> kami naman, after kasi ng morning show na yon, noon time show namin, live din kami. Ah. So, nasa dressing room naman ako, around, nasa, ano, oh. ako, station ako nun. Okay. Tapos dumaan siya ng station, nasa dressing room ko, after ng interview na dun sa, ano. Hindi niya alam, crush mo na rin siya. Um, oo, hindi, hindi pa. Hindi oh. pa kami nagmi-meet. Oh. Pero di ba, nung dati, nung ganun, talagang sino bang walang crush kayo, Troy Montero? Correct, di ba? Yung mga panahon na yun. Oo. Oh, so, oh, oh. Since then, nagde-date na, date-date na. Matagal pa. Matag hindi pa siya nag-pursue eh. Parang very gentle siya. Gentle, hindi lang gentle, matalang gentle, slow. Slow siya eh. Hindi oh, siya yung aggressive, aggressive. ng time na yun. Dahil siguro alam niya gwapo siya. Kailangan niya ba maging aggressive? <laughs> Ganon, ikaw naman ang babagalan. Oo, oh, ako naman. Sige, wait. Busy naman ako. I don't need to date, date. Okay lang. Sabi ko nga, paano ka nagkakilala? Ito parang Amerikano. O ito naman si Batang, <laughs> batang Maynila at saka... Amerikano, magpa-fact-checking lang kami kung pareho ang kwento niyo ang dalawa ni Troy, ha? Yes, for sure. <laughs> Troy Montero is with us today! Hi! We've been talking about you since when? We were almost, almost, almost a few times, right? Yes, yes. Wow, so right. what causes the delay? You're the delay, why? Are you very busy? Um, medyo. I mean, busy with life, normal life. stuff. Life. Yeah. Talaga? Oh. Pero may schedules din ng work and... Oh, naman. Uh, may schedules for work and also family. Um, oh. Especially with our... With my family, walang, walang yaya, walang help. So, it's really like... Sometimes when I'm busy, ma, medyo, ma, school, school things, yes. di ba? Parang Aubrey bus told driver. me that. Why don't oh. you have help in the house? Uh, actually, we did for the... Ano, yung, yung si Mori and Hunter. But when they were older, 
So when they were, not when they were babies, when they were like mga five. When they were babies. Ay, naku, mamaya na nga tayo pag-usapan yung parenthood na yan. <laughs> yung parenthood style nila, ibang klase. Hindi ko kaya. <laughs> Hindi ko kakayanin talaga. Pero, okay. Dito muna tayo sa American life. What, oh, what state in America were you uh, born? Washington State. So Washington Pacific, State. Pacific uh, Coast. Ah, yeah. so by the beach talaga. By the beach, pero walang bim. It's like uh, black, it's dark, it's not, ano, it's oh. not like uh, California. It's ah, very, very medyo gray. cold. Medyo gray. Yeah. Ah, gloomy, gloomy. Nagulat ako, sabi ni Troy, pinanganak siya doon at nandun siya hanggang mag-twenties. Yes. But you're part Filipino. Uh, on my mom's side, because my mom is full. Okay. She's the only one uh, out of yung siblings. Lahat yung siblings uh, born dito, pero she was born in the in the states. Okay. By that time, yung parents migrated to ano, the U.S. So full Filipino mother and full yes. American father. Yes. I see. So are you more American than Filipino? Filipino more than American? While I, growing up, did you feel Filipino? No. I didn't know. Ah. But when I went to my Shempre, when I went to my Lola's, mm -mm. very, very Pinoy, yung parang food and upbringing and everything. Uh -oh. Pero, as uh, admiration, <laughs> did you already notice you look better than the other kids? Uh, um, <laughs> I think, oh. I think growing up, parang may, Shempre may something, but I, for me, I didn't feel, I didn't see it. Till, I think one day na, mga, elementary school one of my i think it was a ma culture day something where you bring you know you show your culture tapos when i shared na ma uh, pinoy flag and pinoy food and and things like this my friend said i thought you're mexican <laughs> ah mexican i was like oh. you know parang hindi alam eh. and even that time na uh, that's when i started really getting um, more to know the the culture from mm. my lola my lolo oh. In America, did you like it? I did. Uh, okay, naman. I mean, I guess pretty. I don't want to say pretty average, but yeah, pretty. You know, outside. Normal. Normal. Normal lang. Sports. Uh, Anong school, sports mo nung bata ka? Lahat. Uh, baseball, soccer, football. And really? Then, um, Not all kids are like that, huh? Yeah, true. true Where do you true. take it from? Uh, my father. Uh, young dad. Actually, I went to the same school, high school, as my dad. So, sportsman din kasi si dad. Yes, yes, So, yes. pressure, pressure. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, even KC, as a child, yes. was also very sporty. Oh, very sporty then. Um, both, both my brothers, uh, we, all, we all played sports. Who's the third one? Kobe. 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 And where is Kobe? There. He's still there, same, same. In America? Yes, he came here. All right, we're going to be together. Tapos off to Singapore, like, what? All and of again. you were like on-camera people. So three yeah. boys, three yeah. boys. So growing up, three boys three in boys. America, normal? Yeah. Did you fight a lot? No, no man. Um, I will say no. They will probably say yes. Because hey, I'm the, I'm the <laughs> kuya, oh. so. Oh. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty, pretty normal, I guess. Like, uh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay, so sports, sports. Mm. Normal childhood in America. Uh -huh. Things were good. So, bakit bumalik ng Pilipinas bigla? Uh, I, I worked through school. Um, for the longest time, I always had a job. Um, I always had my interest in uh, so TV. So, um, I wanted to be a, a host. So, my first... Even while in even America? When, yeah, in America. Oh. So, I, had, I, I, did a few, I did a few movies. <laughs> You did? Uh, yeah, I did a few movies. But really small parts. Um, in some, Hollywood? Some extra work. They were when the... There were productions in uh, so Washington. Oh. So tapos, they look for local talent. So oh. um, I had an agency. They say, hey, there's a movie you can... There's a featured extra role there. So said, yeah, go there. Pays oh. like, you know, um, $500 a day. So, oh, game. Why not? It's in high school, so... Oh, oh. All right. oh, oh. Tapos, uh, after that, I started, you know, in production. Parang, Falling in, you know, getting an interest with the. Ah, dum pala nagsimula yun. Uh, oh. Pa extra extra kana. Extra extra lang. Oh. Ibang klase ng extra sa Amerika, five hundred dollars yeah. a day. Yeah, social talaga. Social. Oh. oh. May union, may ganon so. Right. 
Okay, so you were doing that. And uh, in hindsight, tingin mo kung nag-stick ka doon, Hollywood ang landing mo? Uh, I was actually... They were, there was going to be a new TV show. Parang magazine show. Magazine type. With a local um, uh, radio host. Very well-known radio host. As the lead. Tapos ako yung side host. Oh. And then, so I was... We were about ready to start the shoot, so I was very, I was so crushed. Oh. Tapos, I said, Sige, I, I want to leave. I want to, I want to go away. So I took my book and we went to the Philippines. Oh, so then, it was a heartbreak. It was a heartbreak move. Oh, it was a heartbreak move. <laughs> it was a heartbreak, ma, uh, Sunday vacation. I, I came for, ma, two weeks. Tapos, uh, I liked it, so I came back. Okay, so, okay, wait. So, pumunta na kami ang Pilipinas. Mm. Na-discover ka ba ka agad? Uh, oh, because I, I brought my book, di ba? So, I have a friend. Your book meaning your portfolio. My portfolio, yeah, sorry. Right. My, um, my set card, ganun. So, I brought some, you know, um, and it was all mass sports, right? So, uh, lahat mga topless, Playing sports, playing volleyball, playing ganon. So playing in the gym, so very athletic. Uh, so when I arrived, everyone was like, "Wow, your your book so nice." Right, right, right. <laughs> Tapos, uh, long story short, I was invited by a friend to um, a parang dance dance club. I think that time uh, late nineties. So that's that's how it all kind of started. And you evolved. really dance? No, no, I didn't. I oh, mean, dance now. Yeah, yeah. So on the spot, yung yung DIs, yung dancers, uh, pulled me out of the crowd. Shempre, someone re knew a friend, knew a friend, so they, they pulled me out. Tapos, uh, we did an impromptu mod dance, and then uh, then the the main host of the night was Meribeth Bachata. So she said, hey. I have a show starting at this channel. Maybe you'd like to come by. It's a dance show. And then I was like, sure. And they're like, it's next week. I said, it was like the weekend before I would leave for the state. So I said, okay, why not? And then I went there, tapos I got the part. So I was like, oh, Galing. shoot. Galing! <laughs> so, like, so, uh, on the spot. On the, on spot. the spot? Totoo nga. Oh, May so, talent din pala. No? So every weekend, uh, May, may bagong challenge. Right, right. Besides right. hosting, because they never before na host na live TV. Then after may live, two dances live. So it was like, oh, mm -mm. it's very overwhelming. How did it go from dancing to acting and hosting? That's what you really would like. I think, uh, actually no, it was really, I really wanted to host. I, I wanted to learn how to host. Tapos, you know, siempre when you're here, if you can do everything, do everything, right? Can you sing? I'm like, mm, not really. But make may mall show. Oh, you better learn a song. You better know how to dance. You better know. Oh, may guesting pa. Oh, sige, you you play a uh, uh, Filipino American balik bayan. Oh, sige, go. And then so I just got those roles. And then after a while, I oh, this is not so bad. So. Um, so, yeah. Nagtuloy tuloy ng ganon, tuloy yes, tuloy yeah, na. Yeah. And then I don't know what happened. Suddenly you were with Aubrey. <laughs> <laughs> Super <laughs> fast forward. This is what we heard, but this is her side of the story. Mm. But we have to fa uh, fact check. Oh, okay, see. So if uh, he said, she said, match. Oh, okay. 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 So ang sabi niya, crush mo na si Aubrey Miles, <laughs> and then you uh, were in the same studio. You guested in some noontime show, yes. and so happened that there was some other thing happening. You saw each other in the dressing room. Tinanong kada who's your crush? You said Aubrey Miles. Hmm. This is this is oh. uh, more or less more okay. or less. That's a. Oh, that's a more. Uh, but yeah, in the studio, tapos um, I I parang at that moment. She was like a little bit my my crush, um, and then when they saw us, uh, that noontime show asked me to guest, and then they said, um, um, "But I'm supposed to dance with uh, another host." Tapos I told them, and especially back then I was I had a show there also, so I said, "I'll guest, but I want to dance with Aubrey, like switch switch the role." Mm. And she didn't know, so. Ah. 
Um, Mga mani obra. Yeah, that's how okay. it happened. Okay. So I I I kind of forced the <laughs> the meeting. The meeting. The bonding. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so was it like spontaneous combustion? I Sabi think kasi so. Niyan, type I think so. Niya. Yeah. Even though we're both very busy, tapos she was very new at that time, so it was a bit controversial, actually. Um, probably for her manager. <laughs> right. Oh oh. I am the Hindi manager. Hindi ka daw gusto ng yeah, manager of niya. Course, of Bakit? course. Of course. yung especially a, a girl, de ba? A girl who's coming out like that. So. You know, the worst, the last thing they want is to have a link with someone. No. Uh, Nagtatago kayo sa manager niya. Yes, actually, <laughs> I I joined their their management. Ah, you joined yeah. their management. So that way, parang kill them with kindness. I I get them from the inside. Right, so right, right. I joined right. them. Talaga. Mm. So being Mr. Nice Guy was always your thing. I think so. Even through school, oh. I, I I don't remember ever having any. I was friends with everybody. Ah, um, okay, so yun, yun din ang, that's what really got Aubrey too. She says na mabilis siya in love, so tama naman yun. <laughs> Mukhang ganun, ano? Yeah, I think so. Oh, parang medyo tugma naman ang kanilang kwento. Yeah, yeah. Pero iba pa rin, I was telling Aubrey a while ago that yung Aubrey plus uh, Troy, Troy plus Aubrey is a reinvention in itself. And with your family and yeah. now your journey. Yes, yes. So exciting. Yeah. That's okay. next. And Mr. and Mrs. Miller are in the house. Hello. 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 Mr. and Mrs. Miller? <laughs> oh, is that a revelation or what? Mm. Or did you already, you already uh, admitted, admitted that long before on social media? Yes, actually. Oh. Um, and my kids, they, they go by that. Miller. By Miller. Miller yeah. oh, pero hindi pa lang talaga, Montero minsan pa rin talaga ginagamit na pag may mga games or oh, right. may talk or guesting. Oh, oh. Mm. For you, for you guys. Uh, yeah. right. oh, oh. But your kids, Miller talaga Miller sila. Na. Sino yung Montero? Wala. <laughs> Pangalan ng coach. Oh. Yung oh. manager, yung manager na before. What is the age gap? I mean, in nine years. Nine. nine. Uh -huh. Perfect. Nine. Yes. Mm -hmm. They say it's perfect. Yung mga ganyan. Mm -hmm. Actually, perfect talaga. Gusto ko yung, ayaw ko yung meet up namin sa uh, mentally. Hindi kami same. Actually, eh. yeah, sakto. Sakto Sak yung. <laughs> sakto yung para nahuhuli na Somehow. konti yung. <laughs> oh, oh, talaga sakto. Oh. Agree, disagree, pwede. So talagang type mo yung Filipina. Very Filipina, mm -hmm. almost mm -hmm. Mexicana-ish. Mm -hmm. Thai, mm -hmm. also Thai. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. Mix. She's mix. very mixed. She has a. Actually, she does. She has mom mix. Yes, oh, uh, my Filipino-Japanese because I'm family. Ko. Ah, yeah. you see, kaya may pagkasinki. Yes. Sa losa ka ba? Dati. Dati. Oh, nagbabago pala. <laughs> okay, pa paano siya magselos? Before mas ano ako pag kunay na sa labas siya. Pag nasa with the friends, kanya, alam ko lahat ng numbers ng mga pinupuntahan nila. Tatawagan ko kung nandun talaga siya. Ganun ako ka, Ana. Okay. Tatawa ka, Aubrey. <laughs> This is true. Pagawin niyo, pag lumabas, alam niyo sa na ka. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hindi daw siya masyadong selosa. Hindi, di ba? Ibang level. Spyish girlfriend. Okay. Agent X44. Di ba? What else do you do? <laughs> Okay. Hindi ko lang ginagawa ngayon, pero dati. Okay, so, but and you, you're not the type. Perfect. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm understanding, pero siyempre, di ba, understanding, kunwari may, may, may movie, tapos may leading man, and especially uh, her leading man. Of course, may style na, you know, that's the style dito, ma. They, they bring you things, they're like this. Tapos, alam na yung, they have a, you have a boyfriend. They are usually mm. with someone, pero... Diba? They still have this... May ibigyan ka ng mga regaligalo. Oh, ba diba? This style or made text now. Did you make it home? I'm like, ano yun? <laughs> <laughs> you check her cell phone. Diba? No, no, you but... check her cell phone. I never check. I actually like, sinisabi ko sa kanya minsan. Sabi ko, oh, ganito. Honest naman ako. I think back then, especially, kasi walang, walang social media. So when you're on the phone, it's a text. Diba? Correct. Parang, you're either playing snake or you're texting someone. Diba? So parang... And it's like, beep, beep. Parang, and I'm like, oh. Sino yan? Uh, Then I was like, ha, ha, ha. Uh, <laughs> yun ang mahirap pag parehong pogi at maganda. Ayan, nagsususpechahan silang dalawa. Okay, so when when was the comfort place? What year? 
Then nakita na kayo. Mm. At what in what, at what year together was it more peaceful? Mas six, six or seven, seven years, yeah. Six, After seven that, years. parang things changed. Mm. Um, it was really the the make it or break it years, um, and that's when we really, we really knew. Na, I really knew that. Uh, oh, this is really it. This is oh, it. Wow. So, so your stories match. <laughs> okay, so gladly it matched yeah, yeah. someone. Okay, so <laughs> medyo pareho naman ang mga kwento nila. No? Wow, 18 years. 18 years bago ninyo na-decide, uh, you know, to tie the knot. Mm. But before that, sabi ko nga kay Troy and also to you, Aubrey, parang nung nagkaroon ng Troy and Aubrey, nagkaroon ng reinvention, na boy itong this new creature, <laughs> That, uh, that's like Troy and Aubrey, right? So, was it by design? Or nagkataon, may social media na. And social media became so big. Right. And you became big with it. Right. Uh -oh. um, parang, not by design, pero because we enjoy so many things together, parang we're always together na... We share. Everything. Sharing. Yeah. Sharing those moments, so... Um, whether it's, of course, traveling and exercising and cooking and, you know, the things that we do. So, we're always together talaga. Talaga. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, oh. And the, the way we post, it's always together and we share family. And then, um, we like doing things together. Medyo yung nagtagal-tagal na, then parang we match na yung mga activities namin. Dato kasi I work out separate siya rin. You know. We still do it, pero now we work out together. Then we do groceries together na, yung ganun. It's not that wala kaming time na sa sarili namin meron. It's just like, oh, we're having a good time. Correct, Saya correct. Naman. Enjoy pa rin to see his face. What was one of the most viral? I remember it was a sexy pose. Oh, oh, <laughs> Wasn't it a sexy pose? So what isang, was that? Uh, sa so isang farm yun na nag, ano kami, morning naked na. Ah, so, ganun. Oh, ganun oh, kayo. Oh, Backshot ba? <laughs> Oh, parang side shot. Side na. shot. Oh, side shot. Okay. Oh. Siya din, meron siya front, From pero blurry. Sino kumukuha ng litrato? Pareho kami kayong walang suot. Kami dalawa lang. Ah, it's a position lang ganyan. Oo, oh, oh. kasi oh, may mga standing. It just, happen, it just happened to be. We just, you know, we were we were just uh, alone. So, yun lang. Maybe that's why it worked and nag-viral. Kasi parang raw na raw eh. Walang, walang filter. They like it like, oh my God, that's, that's it so clear. Uh -oh. So, parang that's why nagulat sila. Parang, right. Minsan lang kami mag-post na, ako na ganun again. Na, again, again na sexy, right, sexy, right. Yeah. Well, I think when people are comfortable with their bodies, it's no big deal. Yeah. Oo, di ba? Parang ganun, ano? Ang time na yun nga, parang casually lang natin, casual lang na picture namin. Sabi ko, eh, ganun ang lighting dito. Yeah. Wala tayong ring light, ano pero kasi it's morning sunrise. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. right. Oh, oh ma. And since then, did you feel that you had to do that over and over again? <laughs> so every time we go there, they're like, oh, ano, let's go to that same, same villa. Spot. Tapos, maraming action gumawa ng same angle pati yung sa kanya. Yes. May pressure na, oh, gagawin niyo ba ulit? Every time, sa kung naman every time. Well, you're now influencers. And I ask this of influencers, what does it take to become successful? They say it's called the economy of attention. <laughs> So, what, what do you do to keep it alive, itong social media ninyo? Um, I think there's a balance. For us, there's a balance there. Because, of course, we like to share yung parang things that we're really doing na talaga. I mean, syempre, there's some stage things, diba, that, that that influencers do. And I do them too. Ma, ma jokes or things like that. But most of it, like for me, is really a, a combination of some things that we're doing, na family, uh, maybe we're out at dinner or at some place or vacation. Tapos mixed with some funny moments. Um, some I know more like authentic, different. authentic moments. Yeah, I mean, oh. I think a, a mix, a nice. And mix. the things that we used to do, na talaga, before even the social media. Mm. Um, ako like the working out. I just start before pa magkaroon na talaga mga influencers nagpo-post na ako ng mga um, workout and wala pong nagda-likes I just like to post kasi nga gusto ko ini-erase ko na sa phone ko then I'll rec naka-record na siya 
sa social media so I can see it. Then yung plants. Oh, you're planting. I've yeah, been posting that. also yung plants even before ng pandemic na nag may mga uso yung plants. Okay, wait. I went to the <laughs> plant place oh, where yes. you buy <laughs> and they, they showed me this very million millones na halaga ng halaman. Mm. Na inaalagaan mo. Yeah, meron ako mas maliit sa kanilang wow. laki, di ba? Wow. And well, anyway, yung plant niya nasa plant hospital po. Kasi may yes. sakit. Yes. And don't you think it's kind of... What, what do you think? You're the husband now. Do you have a say? I have full that support. That she spends millions I have, on a plant? I have full support kasi... You know when they say na someone has a green thumb? It's really true. Well, coming from me because I don't. So, she does. She has a, a gift with it. She really knows what she's doing. So, I don't have any worry. And I love it. I love the vibe of... Yung halaman sa, oh, sa bahay oh. and everything. And then we've been earning. Kaya he saw it. He saw ah. how we're... Abu ko, oh, there's a deposit like this. You have to bring this plant. Let's get it. Sabi na, oh, how much is it? Like this much. Okay, yeah. so you now make it a business as well. Yeah, it's a business. Five years ago, na dapat yung plan namin na ikakasal kami. Same setup. Parang 12 people lang. Then yeah. we fly. Very intimate. Oh, we fly somewhere. And then... Tapos, yung original plan was actually Batanas. So we we're planning batanas for our first, uh, well, for our, our wedding. Tapos fly in yung yung parents and things. Tapos uh, just so happens yung pandemic. So we got push, 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 and then you know it's three years. And I don't even know if, if batanas is even open. Uh, if it is open sure recently, open. Right? <laughs> So we just said, okay, we cannot wait anymore. So we decided to do it. Na um, change the plans, but. Yeah, we were really planning now uh, before. Can before you imagine pinlan namin tapos biglang nung date na gusto namin, biglang nag pandemic. Sabi ko, is that really meant to be? Tay <laughs> kakasal pa ba tayo, 'di ba? Oh. Parang sa tagal nating initates biglang nagkaganito yung time na biglang hold. Right. And we you know, discovered a lot. We fixed our garden. Sabi ko, oh, we have to go uh -oh. camping. Parang naging more creative kaming dalawa. Mm. So, parang ganoon, 'di ba? Indoors and outdoors, wala yung pool namin, bawal. Sa village, lumabas, so bumili kami ng portable pool. So for a month, palit ng palit, kami ng water para lang sa mga kids. Right. So we got, ano, diba, mm. yung gym natin. We Ay, built our gym. Uh, sa garage. More, I guess, extended our gym. Tapos, and dami mga activities sa, sa movie night, mga ganun. So board, we, games, board, board games. Board games, puzzles. Na na. <laughs> Rediscovery during the pandemic. Yeah. After 18 years, and Maury is what? At 20? 20, 20, 20, 21. 21. 21. Yeah. At the time. Yeah. Tsaka pa kayo ikakasal at meron pa kayong second child, right? Mm -hmm. Together. So, what made you decide? The pandemic? Uh, yeah, I think so. We just said, you know, let's just... Well, like I said, we, we wanted to before. Tapos, after the pandemic, we said, you know, we look what happened. The pandemic lasted almost three years. Let's just not wait any... Let's not wait for the... Master plan, let's just do it. And then you had Hunter. Yes. Parang feeling ko both, but are leaning more towards mom. Yes. Okay. Towards mom. So another boy, yeah. another boy. What's he into? What is Hunter into? Right now, that's high school shape. High school okay. stuff, so parang ma. Starting to really uh, hang, jiu -jitsu. hang out with friends. Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu-Jitsu. Uh -huh. And then, yung... Teenage stuff. Teenage, teenage stuff, online gaming. Online. Lago. Yeah, uh -huh. all that. Uh, somehow. <laughs> so sporty din siya. Yes, and yeah. he likes to sing. Also, from yes, the mom. Yes, he yeah. likes to sing. Kumakata rin si Troy. Troy, nagkukunwari ka pa eh. Just to get by, not like her. Not She's to save your life. Different level, ibang level. <laughs> Talaga ba? Uh -huh. Baka bigla ko kayong ipag-duet dyan. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then Rocket came. Hmm. Ito na yung hugot talaga sa buhay niyo. Yeah, uh -huh. kasi first girl. You really wanted a girl. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. After two boys. Yeah. When did you know that um, something wasn't quite there? During the, you know, almost in, in the pandemic time. So, it was really just us na talaga. We just said, you know, did you notice she's, she does this thing? Like and then, tiptoeing. Yeah, she's always tiptoeing. Back and forth, repetitive. Um, repetitive play. Uh, just lining up stuff, you know, lining oh. up. Like, How old was she then? One and a half. One and a half. And then she, she, she just does my baby, baby talk lang. 
walang mama, dada, yung simple words. It just wasn't there. So um, we started like you know doing our own research, and then we said, you know, I think you know, but we didn't want to diagnose, cause ba? So we just said, well, let's just see, let's just see. And then it's still lockdown, so we're like. No doctors. No pa. doctors available. No oh, whatever. Oh, hirap yun. So for oh, two two yeah. years, ata kami nagintay, kasi walang hospital, and then kids are, di ka pweding with the kids. Parang lahat may shield pa, tas may mask pa ng time nyan. Tas wala kami mahanap na um, doctor for, for specialists. Uh, yes. Specialists. Yeah. Ano yung tawag don? The research namin, then we followed mga um, community sites and mga groups sa Facebook, kanya. Mm. So we're really parang, like self help. Yes, so oh, for two years. Parang trying to, if ever, may preparation. Um, and then we, 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 we knew now there's something. So I said, let's, let's not, it's almost like let's not jump to conclusion, but alam na. So it's kind of like, let's just, let's just live, let's just do what we can. And then we'll see na once the lockdown lifts. And, and, and that's what we did. So. And came the diagnosis. Uh -oh. And what did the doctors say? Right away, pagpasok namin ng clinic, right away, alam niya na, oh, sabi na, ah, sabi na, okay, you're in spectrum. Kasi nakita nung umiikot agad dun sa, sa plate. Meron siyang area na parang to test. May mga test area siya. Umiikot siya. Tapos she, she didn't even look at her, the doctor, straight away. Ganun sila, they don't do eye-to-eye -eye contact. But since then, it's been Since then, and after the diagnosis, um, and then, of course, yung lockdown na wala na. So, we entered her sa, sa therapy, um, speech therapy, occupational therapy, and she's been in ever since. So, and dami mga improvements. So, That's yeah, so really, much. so much. So much na, nagugulat kami pag uwi niya. And then, she's happy, ah. Yeah. She likes going to school therapy. She likes it. Um, progress na, tumitingin na siya. Um, she, she says her name, Rocket. Isn't it rocket? And she's mommy. Mm -hmm. So yung mga, mga siguro for a normal, normal parent na yung mommy dead malang sila o normal lang. Sa amin, mm -hmm. sobrang cry kami. Yeah. Well, is there a purpose? Tingin nyo? Well, uh, we, we always used to say kasi um, when, uh, now because of Rocket, we actually started a, a Facebook page um, for awareness. And we get to meet and see a lot of parents sharing stories. And, and when we hear others talk about it, one thing we said was, you know, booted it, well, I don't know how to say this, but it's almost like it came when it, when we were ready. Mm -hmm. So if this would have come for us, if Rocket would have came and it was our first child and we were younger, who knows how we would have mm -hmm. handled it. Handled it. Because yeah. most, uh, the, the, um, when there is a child on the spectrum, uh, like 60, 70 percent of the time, the parents don't last. Because mm -hmm. rocket talaga yung naging glue ninyo, right? Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, it, it and it really is. Uh, it made our family even closer, even mm -hmm. with the kuyas, because it really takes a team mm -hmm. with her. Uh, even at home, especially when we go out, when we travel. Uh, parang all hands on deck. So, lahat, even the kuyas are ready na if ever. Mas maranti rin ni Rocket. Ang yeah. support system niya, mm. buong buo. Saka yung Saka dalawa bodyguard niyo. Exactly, the timing, <laughs> yeah. di ba? Parang from the 22, 14. Sabi ko, siguro kung lahat sila bata, what's gonna happen sa the house? Oh. And At least may yung age nila na pwede na actually mag-alaga. Misa, mm. alis kami. Mas sila mag-aalaga. Just mm -hmm. a few hours. Mm -hmm. Right, right, It's the right. timing. That's why, thankful na rin kami na Naganitong time, itong right. timing is good. So, is there is there a planning that can happen with a child like Rocket, like planning for the future? But there's definitely plans, and most of it is really continued therapy and support. But um, like what what other parents share with us is things will really change. Just like a you know when your child um, becomes a teen, same thing. But you never just never know what's going to happen. Even more so. Um, with a child on the spectrum. Don't know na if things will, if she could regress or, you know, um, you just have to be pre prepared for, for anything. Siguro siya yung child na ready kami na 
No problem sa aming ka na. Kung talaga, yes. <laughs> kung if you don't wanna leave us, we're good. Kasi diba, other, kung normal kwento, oh, they'll study, they'll work. Leave home. Uh, yeah. Siya, sabi ko, it's gonna be the three of us. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like, right. Like, we'll get old together. Mm. Alam mo, kanina pa siguro natitisod yun, saka nabibilaukan. Ano? Sina, sina. Sina, kaya't kanina pa natin siya pinag-uusapan. <laughs> it's time to meet her. Uh. It's time to meet her and make her... Debut at least on my show. Yeah. First time. <laughs> First time. First time. Ever. First time. Masaya ang buhay. Alam natin yan. Hindi sa walang pagsubok. Eh sino ba naman ang may perfectong buhay? Nobody has a perfect family. Everybody has his journey. At ganun din naman para sa Familia Miller. O yan, kilala niyo yung Familia Montero, Troy, and Aubrey. <laughs> and now, with Rocket. Hi, Yay! Rocket! Yay! That's Rocket. Napakaganda. Hi. Naalala ko si Pilar. <laughs> They're the same age, four years old. Four years old. Yes. They're the same height. Yeah. Oh, Matalmatalka din siya, right, Rocket? Yeah. Well, she's looking at me. And she sequestered my, or rather, somebody's colorful abaniko. Abaniko, yeah. Sa kanya na yun, guys, ha. Sorry, babayaran ko na lang. Thank you. Yes. Rocket. She loves all these things. Yes. She likes, uh, she likes uh, french fries. French mm -hmm. fries. Oh. As much as possible, we like the, yung homemade pwede ginagawa oh, namin kapag may time. Then, mamon. Yes. She likes the mamon. I think treat niya. And then, she loves grapes. Loves every grapes. Loves grapes. Wow. Yeah. And then, also, apples. Mm. Ganyan. Kasi mm. we try not to feed her um, too sweets, much sugar? Uh, uh, sugar. At least natural sugar, okay. Now as much as possible. Oh. Oh. Mm. So. Rocket also likes now to color. Yes. Now she's in the coloring book. She's in the stage <laughs> siya ng coloring. And she likes to just scribble. Mga ganun. Actually, meron siyang mga feeling ko. Sa, oh, nasa na isa. Talagang gusto na yung mga super colorful and thick. So, ito medyo light. Pa. So, right. Then she also likes this one. She so, likes letters, letters and numbers. She oh. likes parang tracing. Like to trace siya ng oh, G, nice. H, ganyan. Oh. Oh. Okay. So, ABCs. Pinag-uusapan namin kanina na uh, you're very open pagdating dito sa condition. Mm -mm. Bakit very open kayo? Ang ibang mga magulang tinatago sila. Actually, for us, we, f we felt we could get her the best help um, and therapy by just being open. We didn't want to, uh, I guess, extra effort to um, hide, hide something. So we thought we just have to go all out. So if we want to inquire, if we want to talk to someone, we wanted to, you know, no cloak and dagger, just straight and... And as we know in the world now, um, the more people who know, the more you'll get the help and information you need. So true. Yes. So Tama, hindi ba? So mm -mm. I'm thankful na rin na ang mga, ang, I think lahat na ng mga, hindi naman lahat, pero naka, medyo tanggap na, hindi na nakakahiya. Mm -hmm. I don't know kung may tao parang bah. naiisip na nakakahiya. Pero mm -hmm. for us, every time na nagsishare kami, parang, Someone will message a lot actually every day. Oh. Then people will approach us some mall mm. or hotels. Our kids like that too. They'll cry. Parang feel ko close na kami. Oh. oh, it's it's different din yung time na ngayon din yung timing din na medyo aware na rin yung mga tao na sa situation na and they they also help us. Mm. Nag-share din kasi sila sa amin ng mga, especially may mga anak na, na medyo older. Mm -hmm. Sharing mga diet uh, tips. Um, Tips on Kanada, um, maybe she has a certain situation. Oh, get, does it get ready when she, they turn this old? They might do this. Mm. So, it's really nice to have that kind of support. Um, and these are, you know, um, social friends, social media friends. A typical day, papano yun? Hands on parents kayo? Yes. Medyo nagbago ang buhay. Um, a lot. A lot. <laughs> Drastically. <laughs> Super, a lot. Especially oh. ako sa fitness. Before, I can just go, we can just train for triathlon anytime. Oh. Wala pa siya, di ba? We can be gone for the whole day training. Yun lang yung sa akin, sabi ko, now, I have, that's why, buti na lang may gym kami sa loob ng bahay, sa garage, but still, limited pa rin na, like, I can just work out anytime. Ngayon, kailangan, singit-singit ko lang. I still try my best, guys. Grabe. Oo, oh, oh. uh -huh. ba? Actually, what, what, what happens with us is, whatever plans we have, we always have to make sure that it could always change. Mm -hmm. um, so even this morning, um, 
I'm ready now. I have, I have things to shoot, doing social media things in the morning before she wakes up. Tapos may workout pa. Just so happened, she woke up with me at around 6 a.m., which is not her normal uh, time to wake up. So we're like, okay, change plans. So, you know, tomorrow na lang or whatever. So, Hindi na kami na disappoint kasi before, yung plan ko yeah. din ito. No, Ngayon, it changed na kapag hindi nagawa, wag ma stress, wag tayo magkaway. Yeah. Minsan may dinner kami, biglang nag tantrum siya or nag episode siya. Sabi ko, nakaayos na ako, so we can't, we can't leave. Ganun. Do you have this thing, the, like the, the FOMO, you know, the FOMO, yes. fear of missing out? <laughs> yes. With Rocket, that is totally eliminated. So <laughs> it's almost this like whenever something happens, we just always have to be ready, if mm. ever, to change plans. So nag change priority ka Change talaga. priorities talaga. Change priority yeah. talaga. You wow. think you're ready for the long haul? Forever, yeah, forever. Yeah, forever. Definitely. Mm -mm. Uh -oh. mm -mm. Parang it's a, uh, it's, it's, wala, we can't, parang forever, we can't see yung end eh. It's, we're just gonna go for it, you know? Right, mm -hmm. right. And um, I'm sure tuloy-tuloy din ang research about yes. everything about her condition. Yes. Technically, what is it? Is it autism, really? Yes. Are there grades of autism? Um, th there can be, but I think uh, they, they always, it's always changing. So as they mm. get older, and, and also through therapy and other things, um, it can always, she can always progress. Mm. Or, um, and, and, and you know, it's just, we're very blessed and lucky that she loves school, she loves therapy, yeah. and um, yeah, so she's really also accepting it and taking There's it. There's definitely no cure. It's gonna be always, always there. Yeah. So, pero yung progress na, like sa kanya, more on delayed speech. So, kailangan siyang progress, kailangan niyang speech therapy, therapy yun na. Then, pag nag-stop siya, probably makakalimutan niya. So, we need to continue talagang non-stop. So, for us, yung, yung therapy na, ngayon, nagpo-preschool na siya. Oh. With the same half ng, um, with also in, um, spectrum then. Right, so, right, so right, that, right. My group school, my group life. So, we yeah. can see that nagpo-progress siya. Pero talagang, never-ending. Ito ngayon, I'm glad ganito siya. Pero minsan, pag nag-episode siya, iyak or... You know, scattered dog. Oh. And, uh, I'm so glad Major relaxed. She knows a camera when she ah. sees one. <laughs> She's getting better. She's <laughs> getting better. First time to guys. Thank you. First Baka time. Baka uh, gusto talaga niya may ilaw. <laughs> to be honest, ah, papunta right. namin dito. It's the most parang nervous kami sa interview na to. Sa lahat ng interview namin because oh. of her. Oh. Sabi ko, I don't want to. Masira yung interview natin. Sabi ko, baka mamaya. Ganito siya. Mag-access sa mga Right. Yeah. Well, you know, we're very happy for you. First of all, thank you that you trusted us. Uh, talagang ano, pinagkatiwala nyo sa amin ang kwento ni Rocket. Mm. And everything for a purpose, right? I told you some stuff that I know about. Yes. Uh, yes. Autism and the management and developments in technology. Hindi mo masasabi talaga yes. kung ano ang magiging progression mm. ni, mm. ni Rocket. And uh, thank you. Wow, kita mo naman. Catching up. Thank catching you. up with Montero na nga lang. Oh, Montero na lang. <laughs> Montero na lang. Apelido. Yung Miller kasi daming may Miller. <laughs> oo, 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 hindi ba? Dito lang tayo sa Montero. Diyan naman kayo sumika. <laughs> and so, the story isn't over uh, for uh, Troy and Aubrey and now with Rocket. And we will be in touch for now. Thank you, Rocket. Thank you. You can jump into the pool now. <laughs> thank you, thank you. With for mommy and daddy. Say bye bye. Thank you for this interview. Bye bye. Bye, bye everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Say bye. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>